Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jacqueline and today we're going to be talking about top interior design style combinations. If you're familiar with our channel, then you already know that I cover lots of individual interior design styles on their own. However, sometimes you guys ask me things like, can I mix cottagecore and industrial? Or can you mix Scandinavian and traditional styles? So today I'm gonna to be clearing all that up. And rather than answer each individual question, I thought it'd be way more helpful to you guys if I talked about interior design styles that always work together so that you're left with foolproof combinations to work with. So if you're interested in mixing interior design styles, let's jump in. But before we jump into different combos, I wanted to give a few pointers before decorating and mixing styles. And firstly, I think you need to know that some styles will just never work together and that's okay. Rather than force something that isn't meant to be and just doesn't work, look to ones that do align with your main one. Secondly, whilst we're talking about not forcing anything, play to the strengths of the architecture. For example, if you have a Georgian interior, don't choose an ultra contemporary interior style. In all honesty, this is really my pet peeve when I see people decorating their homes. It just doesn't make sense because one, you're giving yourself a lot of work to do in terms of the amount of renovation work. And two, an interior nine times out of 10 will always look better when you play to the architectural strengths of your home. Because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you also watch home reno TV shows like me and I can't tell you how shocked I am when I see a couple knock down a wall and then it reveals to be an exquisite Victorian fireplace. I mean, what were the previous owners thinking? Anyway, if you're not sure which interior design style to go for, a good starting point is to look at the features in your home. And thirdly, like I said, not everything is going to work together, but to make sure that you don't fall into that trap, make sure to look up your main style online for inspiration and then see if perhaps other styles have been brought into the mix. This works especially well on Pinterest where they automatically recommend other images that are similar or Instagram where you find other hashtags that have been included, which then gives you even more ideas for your design style. And rather than be negative and tell you guys which styles don't work together, I really just want to focus on foolproof combinations for you. And the first one I want to talk about is mixing a dark academia interior with a Victorian interior. If you've watched my dark academia video, then you'll know all about it already. But essentially it's an aesthetic that dwells on dark tones, academic learning, rich textures, and sometimes spooky accent pieces. And the reason why it works so well with the Victorian design style is because a lot of dark academia furniture and home decor is actually vintage and dark tone too. Victorian interiors that were initiated in the 19th century also had lots of dark heavy colours, dark wooden furniture and ornate home decor objects. So naturally the two design styles not only feel at home with each other, but they also complement one another perfectly. There's not one side that's more dominant than the other. So if you're looking to decorate your Victorian home, look for dark academia inspiration and home decor pieces to mix into the scheme. More interior design styles to mix are Scandinavian interior design and cozy cabin interior design. In my opinion, Scandinavian is such a popular design style, if not one of the most popular design styles, which is why I thought it was important to include on the list. But a lot of the time we see Scandinavian and minimalist interiors or Scandinavian and mid-century combinations, which all work well, but for something a bit different, mix Scandinavian with a cabin style. I think Scandinavian interior design is so popular because it's modern, clean, and the furniture designs work well in so many different interiors. But again, mixed with a minimal style, I think they can tend to look a bit cold and unemotional. You know, it just doesn't look cosy, to me anyway. However, when intertwined with a cosy cabin interior design style, it instantly makes the home feel cosy. 
cabin interior design is all about natural elements, coziness, and of course it wouldn't be complete without a crackling fireplace. Log cabins are usually located in forests or lakes, right? And therefore it makes sense to bring the outdoors in by using wood, rocks, stone, and other elements found in nature. Natural wood panelling like pine or birch adds warmth but also keeps in line with a modern look. Clean lined Scandinavian furniture mixed with rustic wooden textures helps to create a comforting, intimate atmosphere. The third design combination includes a style that's very trendy and popular at the moment and it's a cottagecore design style mixed with an arts and crafts interior. Again, I have a whole cottagecore video if you want an in-depth deep dive, but essentially it's all about English cottage furniture and decor. It indulges in a simpler time, which is why I think so many people gravitate towards it when we're living in such a fast-paced world. Mixing and matching different woods textures and styles is very common in a cottage type interior and because of that it's why an arts and crafts style would weave well into a cottage space. The arts and crafts movement was a design style that was born in the late 1800s and was pioneered by designers such as William Morris and Charles Rennie Mackintosh. The key design principles of this design style include raw furniture that focuses on their natural qualities and motifs and patterns inspired by nature. Arts and crafts designers used designs such as fruits, birds, and flowers in bloom. It was a purposeful attempt to portray the countryside as idyllic compared with the stuffy nature of city factories at the time. In particular, the famous wallpaper designs of the arts and crafts movement, as well as quintessential furniture, will integrate perfectly into a cottage interior scheme. And also, in a way, the arts and crafts movement reminds me of Hobbit home interiors, which is why I think it would work well along cottage interiors really nicely. The next combination is a stark contrast to the previous styles and it's by mixing an art deco interior with a contemporary glam look. This is the perfect scheme for you guys who are looking for gold accents, sharp symmetrical shapes and furniture arrangements, whilst also having a glamorous edge. As I'm sure most of you know, Art Deco became famous in the 1920s and 30s and was the opposite of Art Nouveau design at the time that focused on fluid forms and nature. Art Deco was all about bold, sharp shapes and opulent materials like brass and marble. It's such an elegant style, however, it can be a bit dated at times, which is where the addition of the contemporary glam look comes in. By adding the contemporary glam style to Art Deco, you're able to modernise an interior and also keep a chic atmosphere. Plush furniture and luxury textiles all live within a contemporary glam look. Think about using statement pieces, symmetry, and an abundance of rich textures all to bring this combination to life. Now, a resurgence in Regency interiors and style has come about in the interior design world because of none other than the Netflix show Bridgerton. 
The Regency period only lasted from about 1811 to 1820, but in that period, so many new crazy interiors were born. It was named after England's Prince Regent, who ruled by proxy, then becoming King George IV. He was known for his extravagant personality and flamboyant taste, hence how Regency design is often larger than life. Both Regency and Georgian homes are still popular here in the UK, with people choosing to buy older character properties and renovate them. Classic Regency interiors ooze lavishness, however, sometimes they can be considered a bit too much and bygone. Therefore, in order to modernise it, but also keep it in line with a Regency interior, an Oriental style will best suit this home. If you're a history buff, then you'll already know that the Regency era was renowned for its admiration of all things from the Far East. Like the Brighton Pavilion, built by John Nash and designed by Frederick Crace and Robert Jones, it was inspired by new designs found across Asia, a theme that would become very popular at the time. Interior elements such as chinoiserie were born during this era, and they could be added back into your Regency-style home, not only to be historically accurate, but also to add some intrigue and zest. Within your home, chinoiserie can be used through wallpapers, classic furniture, or even pieces across the Asian continent will help to conjure a beautiful Regency interior. Other than Scandinavian, I think that another top style that's probably the most popular is a classic traditional interior design style. There are so many subsections to a traditional interior. You could have an English country home, a Victorian home, Gothic revival or American colonial and so on. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to be referring to a generalised traditional interior. A traditional interior is usually a combination of classical design styles and eras that work together. Graceful lines, fabric sofas, well-known furniture, detailed woodwork and elegant draperies are all common elements of the style. However, to make sure you don't just end up creating an eclectic or maximalist space, think about incorporating a boutique hotel style into the interior as well. Like the name suggests, the boutique style derives from styles seen in hotel bedrooms, lobbies and restaurants. They have a very distinctive way of making an interior feel posh and Instagram worthy. I think that this is a fantastic interior style to add to a traditional interior, as it makes the space feel more interior design, so to speak, and purposeful. Mix wood finishes and include contrasting colours to add dimension to the space. Of course, the main aspect of hotel interior design is the function. However, the second thing is trying to create a space that is memorable for guests. What you're trying to create is interest in an otherwise traditional interior, so that it ends up being a curated interior that's personal to you and showcases your own idiosyncrasies. What's your favourite interior design style combination that I mentioned, or in fact your own design style? Let me know and then I can suggest other design styles that you can mix it with. Please leave me a like or an emoji down below to let me know that you enjoyed the video and honestly guys that really really helps our channel to grow. If you love interior design, home decor and all that creative stuff, feel free to subscribe. But for today that's it in this video guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!